is giving. Don't play. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. It's been too long. I said those words and I don't know. It's been a while. I remember the last time I did a sit down talking video on YouTube and I'm so glad to be back. Like who else can feel my excitement because my name is Eva and if this is your first time of stopping by hi girly hey boo this is the beauty that we are going to be styling today can you see come close come close if you want to see how we went from this to this then please keep watching okay so i decided to do this style on my dirty hair so i would not be using any product except a little gel probably my hair is not dry dry because i moisturized it like two days ago so i'm still good i guess <laughs> Moving on to take out the part for my front bangs, I'll be making something like a square, but not a complete square, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'll section this part and then put it in a hair clip while I move on to my high bun. So because I want this hair to be really slick, I'll be taking it little by little. So what I did here was I took a little section to like give me a, a more defined high bun. This is the point where I want my high bun to be. And then I'll be going in with this black sponge. Like this black sponge is what is going to help me give this um, high bun some form of definition and um, sturdiness so that it doesn't keep moving up and down so I'm just going to use that and then I'll use a bobby pin to hold it down just so it stays in place my hair in one swoop like take all of my hair and go and put in a high bun but like I said I wanted this to be as slick as possible so what I'm doing now is I'm taking another section, like I said, little by little, and then I'm adding it to that first initial hair bond that we have. And then using a hair tie, I'm just putting it in place. So if you have a voluminous natural hair or relaxed hair, you might not need to use that black sponge. A hair that's fuller than mine, basically but i think i wanted that stiffness or sturdiness so the next thing I'm, i'll be doing is to take out part of the hair and then use it to cover this black sponge that whatever you're seeing is my own hair moving forward i'm going to use this echo style gel take a little and apply it to my front edges while i use it at my back too so what i'm currently doing is to brush it just to maintain that slickness just brushing it into place doing the same thing in front and at the back that's a no fit depend on dog. The good disrespect on dog. Then I shoot them with in this up. If you have natural hair or a more relaxed hair, you can actually take this in one swoop. But if not, you can take it in pieces and then attach it to the sponge to make sure that it's secure. forget about that sponge uh -huh. everything depends on it so make sure that your hair covers the full round of the sponge let the sponge not show you'll need to also tuck your hair inside the sponge properly so like what i'm doing now you have to take your hair and then tuck the tip in properly so that it, it secures into the sponge so I'm just checking my hair out to see that everything is okay and I think this is good but what I feel like is happening here is that my, the 
the high bone is tilted a little to the side make sure that yours is simply in the middle this is me just playing with my hair and <laughs> And then checking out other styles that I can probably do. And this looks nice, right? I love it. Looks nice. <laughs> so yeah, moving on to my bang. I'm going to part my bangs in two. I'm going to part it in two and then braid one part of it downwards. Nepal to collect, but they brought it to me. <laughs> so yeah, we had to move on, and I already finished braiding that part. But if you notice, I also um, changed the pattern style. So I did something like a zigzag. It's not a complete zigzag, but it is zig. Is it zig or zag? But it's not complete zigzag. <laughs> what i'm currently doing now is that i am braiding downwards you have to braid downwards like towards your face that's the way you should go because you want this um braid to actually stay put and not be flying around and this is what it looks like Moving ahead now, we are going to accessorize using beads. So this is me just finishing up on the first bead. So moving on to the second one, I am using the bobby pin technique to put in my beads. So I just use two beads and then I'm pushing it upwards and I'll use that small rubber ring or rubber band, whatever, that tiny black one that you guys know yeah to secure the tip of my braid i use my hair tie to hold it down and move over to the finish look guys are you seeing what i'm seeing are you seeing what i am seeing Hmm. I'm in awe of this beauty. Like, who is this? Who has this hair? Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> oh my god. This is really, really beautiful. So I was just feeling myself, you know, doing some turning and turning and turning. Just feeling myself. And I love, 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 love how this hair came out. You guys, this is my natural hair. If you have any doubt, this hair took me like less than an hour, I think about 45 minutes ish. Shout out to Adana Madu Eke for the inspiration of this hairstyle. Although the reason why she used the sponge I used here is totally different, but guys, believe me when I say I love this outcome, I love how sturdy. How, what the word, help me. At this point, what are we going to name this style? Yeah, I know it's an updo, but this style deserves a name. If you're going to be trying this hairstyle, let me know in the comments. Thumbs this video up if you love this. I know you love this, don't lie. Share this video to all your village people and your office people. Everybody deserves to have this hairstyle as an inspiration. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to the church, you can wear Literally, this hairstyle is giving and don't forget to subscribe happy styling and stay fabulous i'll see you guys soon